Hey guys, it's Eric with LeatherSeats.com. In today's tech tip video, we're gonna blow dry some leather. We've been getting a lot of questions over the last few months over the various ways that we use heat to help us improve the fitment on a leather interior kit. As you've probably seen on many of our videos, we use a commercial steamer as well as an industrial heat gun. But in today's video, I wanted to go over the two main questions we get with the heat gun specifically. So the two main questions we get are what heat gun should I buy and can I use a hairdryer? The answer to the first question is probably a really cheap one because you don't need a lot of heat to help improve the fitment on automotive leather. The answer to the second question, I don't have a clue. I've never tried to use a hairdryer. All right, we're gonna start with this wrinkle over here on this side. I'm gonna use the heat gun first. I'm using that in combination with a soft microfiber towel that's damp. I'm gonna apply a little bit of water as I go, and I've got the heat gun set on low. The keys here are you wanna keep moving, you don't wanna hold it in one spot for very long, and you wanna watch the leather intently to see if there's any movement happening. Something else to keep in mind, the seat covers on this seat are 100% leather. Uh, if you've ordered an interior that's a combination of leather and matching vinyl, where maybe there's vinyl on the side over here, you would have to be really careful to make sure that none of the intense heat from the heat gun hit too hard on the vinyl because you will ruin vinyl a lot faster than you're going to ruin leather. I'm also massaging the leather as I go here. I'm using the rag to actually move the leather around. Working it up and down the bolster as I use the heat to extract the wrinkles. Well, I think that answers that. At least as far as hair dryers go, this one is definitely not gonna cut it. It's not gonna put out enough heat to reasonably start to move those wrinkles. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out with a heat gun. All right guys, as you saw, an industrial heat gun can be a powerful tool in improving fitment and relaxing wrinkles in almost anything upholstered in a good quality leather. That said, leather is a natural product, so every hide is gonna take heat a little bit differently. If you've never used a heat gun on leather before, you really need to be careful. You can do a lot of damage really quickly. If you do have any questions, you can always email us at sales at leatherseats.com or you can call us toll free at 866-NEW-SEAT. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. In today's tech tip video, we're going to improve the fitment on this seat with a heat gun we bought on Amazon. In today's tech tip video, we're going to improve the fitment of the seat using a heat gun. Heat gun. And with guns. <laughs> the two main questions we get are what type of heat gun should I buy and can I use a hate hair dryer? Hate dryer. <laughs> can I dry that hate out? <laughs> Drinking that haterade. So the two main questions we get are what hair What hair track did you get? <laughs> <laughs> oh.